to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And our live game is Paris Saint-Germain against Basel. I'm Peter Drury, and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. Tries a through ball. Lucas Mora beats the offside trap. And back out it comes. It's Matweeny! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Towering header! Danger averted for now. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Looks to slip it through. It's Thiago Motta. That intervention was very necessary. Vatschlik gets it away. Marco Verratti. Looks like a good ball through. Been repelled. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Decent progress down the left. The other side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Aurier did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Lucas Moura. So look inside the box. Aurier, Lucas Moura, Di Maria! Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. And it all came from very good trickery in the, in the wider position, but quite a static defence, was pretty fortunate to survive that little episode. It should have been much worse. Wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Paris Saint-Germain break the deadlock. Look, we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Tries a long pass towards the front. Paris Saint-Germain are in control here on the brink of half-time. challenge but fair enough Thiago Motta Di Maria and the ball through Di Maria looking to run onto it really well taken goal hot knife through butter they have done it again well 
that always look the likely outcome. But we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day. Paris Saint-Germain get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. It's Cavani! We can get that clear. And we've reached half-time. Paris Saint-Germain ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. The action is back on the way. Tries lifting it over. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Maxwell. Di Maria. Maxwell. David Luiz. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Has a look and has a go. He is off the hook. Much personal relief. Better pass there. The defence can get it clear. Now the pass. It's a loose ball. Fitz has got rid of that. Well, that was a really open one for the goalkeeper to deal with. Paris Saint-Germain cannot keep hold of the ball. Lucas Moura plays it out to the flank. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Decision for the referee. Suchi. Paris Saint Germain still two nil up and looking now to see it through. Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura passes it through. It's hit the upright. And more, and more, and more. And the lead is three. It is surely done. Di Maria with a predatory goal. Well, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch.
free without reply. This is becoming a stroll. So what now? That's a throw. Marco Verratti knocks it towards the front. And that is that. Paris Saint-Germain have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? It's a very good win, and as a former defender, I know they'll be very happy at the back not to have conceded. Yes, you're part of a team, but as a unit that works together, you have a, an added pride in, in a job well done. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.